Hey guys, it's Alicia, and I am here with another Saturday Stash Dive, <clears throat> and I am paired up this week with um, Robin, so make sure you head on over to her channel and check out her video, and this week our um, item was Brad's, <laughs> so this was definitely a challenge for me, and um, hang on, stay, hang on. This was definitely a challenge for me. Um, I don't own a lot of brads because I don't use a lot of brads. So um, this was definitely uh, a bit of a struggle for me. Um, I'm going to start off saying that I don't love how the layout, um, as far as the brads go, are concerned. I don't completely love, love it, but um, I think it came out okay and it definitely give me a chance to use some up so um, what I am doing is just cutting some um, pieces that I am thinking about using um, this is some of this is the glitz well all of what you see right now is the glitz bright side um, I believe it's called bright side collection and I'm using three photos um, that are printed uh, from a selfie and they are four by four and um, I'm just kind of playing with the position of everything now you will notice I am doing a two-page layout and that is um, a little homage to Vicki who is me love Bono here on YouTube um, uh, I told her that I would do a two page layout for my next Saturday sash dive so that also kind of threw a little curveball for me because I think I've only done like one or two um before so um yeah a couple challenges built into one for me <laughs> so now these pieces that I'm cutting apart are from the Dear Lizzie Daydreamer collection and um I pulled that out initially because I knew I wanted to use that um paper plain paper which is in the bottom right uh, corner picture um, it's underneath that and um, sorry the colors kind of keep coming in and out um, my camera was having a hard time I think with the exposure or something when I was recording so um, yeah so uh, what I'm doing now this is from the glitz uh, designs um, bright side collection and I'm just using my Tim Holtz ruler there to tear some corners off and I'm tore one and I'm going to tear the other one to approximately be the same size and I'm doing that because I want to um, you know have certain things on the two page spread that will tie them together so that they're cohesive as one now this piece of paper is a piece of the Heidi Swap Dreamy collection and I just thought the colors went really well so I again am just tearing uh, some corner pieces off to um, layer on the other paper and this is a Cosmo Cricut uh, vellum um, what are these called paper pads <laughs> and it has a lot of fun designs in there and the vellum is really excellent quality so I'm really glad that I picked that up and I think I actually got that from Tuesday morning which I think they still carry it if you're interested so I just pulled out this like gray chevron um, pattern and I'm going to mat um, that that little cut apart piece on there and um, just because everything else had something behind it except for that and uh, I'm going to also mat this uh, paper plane paper because I really wanted that piece to stand out these pictures are of um, some paper planes that my daughter had made um, she wants to save up for an American doll and so she has been busy thinking of small businesses that she can start and her first venture here is uh, she made a bunch of paper paper planes and uh, set about selling them to family members so we went to my mom's and she sold a few to my mom and they were outside playing with them so that's what these pictures are of so I'm also gonna start taping some stuff down um, I'm taping these corners down and I'm just kind of distressing the edges a bit um, you know just to give them some dimension and some texture and I'm also going to start uh, kind of putting these pictures and stuff together um, so that I just don't have too many pieces everywhere because then I just get confused <laughs> so yeah so I have that part done and um, what I am doing oh I'm also going to stick them down which is good I knew I wanted the pictures there kind of from the beginning so that eliminates uh, some more stress off of me <laughs> during this process and um, 
I offset the pictures a bit and everything because I didn't want everything just, you know, super perfect grid, but I did want um, somewhat of a grid design in the middle there with the four quadrants. So now that everything is stuck down, I believe I am going to get the brads from what I remember. Yes. Um, so this is literally, I mean, I have like a little twist container that like a stackable container that has some brads in it um, but those are just really plain basic ones these are really all the brads that I own um, like I said I don't really use them so um, sometimes I pick them up if I think they're really cute some came in like packs like collection packs um, so yeah so um, I'm just digging through this little drawer that I have full of just some random ones. And then the ones to the left are packages of brads that I have. And I'm just pulling out ones. What my idea is here is to um, place a bunch of them in the corners um, as kind of almost like a for photo corner accent, if you will, um, even though it's not on the photo. But um, I just wanted to cluster a lot of them together in that top left corner and then the bottom right corner of the other page. Um, I'm just going to work page by page now because I was having a hard time fitting everything in. So you'll see a page by page until I'm done with the brads, uh, setting all the brads in. But um, yeah, that was kind of my idea is I just wanted to cluster a bunch of them together um, in, you know, following the pattern of that corner um, as a photo corner would on a, on a picture or something like that. So I'm just kind of picking ones that kind of go with the color scheme. Just some are pearls, some are glittery, some are like resin flower type things. Um, one is that that the one with the stripe in the middle, it actually says today, and that's a Dear Lizzie from Fifth and Frolic, I believe. Um, the only thing that I am making sure, other than the colors somewhat go with the scheme that I'm using, is that they all have silver metal on them. I didn't want to use any gold um, on this layout. So they do all have silver metal on them instead of gold. And now I just pulled out my so easy matte thing to punch these holes in um, to set the brad. And this was a very painful process for me. I will admit, I don't have that, um, that pink, um, tool with the brad thing on it or whatever so I just use my fingers but it was painful <laughs> another reason why I probably don't use my brads because it hurts <laughs> so and you know this is going to take me a second to push all these in but um, I just wanted to say also you know I think I, I personally look at the the Saturday stash dives is I want to take whatever my assignment is and try to think of a new way to use that product. Um, some people I think um, just want to get it down on a page and use up their stash, which I think is great. And I you know I think there's several different ways to look at these Saturday stash dives. I personally look at them as I want to try to find a new way to kind of make that product new to me again. Um, but with Brad's, it was really difficult. I felt like I mean, there's only so many things you can do with a brad. I mean, you can do a lot of things with a brad, but there was nothing new and inventive that I could come up with. So that's why I came up with this. I, I kind of flirted with the idea of doing some kind of swivel, hidden journaling type thing, but then you kind of deal with the page protector and that type of thing. So um, yeah, and you know, that's nothing new either. I mean, lots of people have done that type of thing with a with a brad because the nice thing is you know since you have the post it can swivel and things like that so like I said it was just hard for me to find a new and inventive way to use them so this is what I came up with and it also helps um, bring the two pages together as one because um, there will be a set on you know one page and a set on the other so I'm going to go ahead and do this second um, one the the corner the very corner piece brad of each corner I wanted to be a fabric button since the other one was so this is one from the basic gray cart postel um, collection and it just says go and now I'm going to do the exact same thing and punch these in so and um, I was trying to find the best way to punch the holes accurately where I wanted them to go. Um, so it was all in all. I'm just very inexperienced with brads, I think. <laughs> so, um, and I, I did also want to mention while I'm doing this here, um, there is going to be a part of the video that is cut out. You're not going to miss much. Um, I don't know what happened with my camera. I 
I it was fully charged and then it ran out of battery and I didn't notice so it's not going to be a lot that you're going to miss um, so don't worry but I thought I'd give a heads up uh, in case all of a sudden you were like whoa where did all that stuff come from <laughs> so yeah so I am almost done here and um, yeah just takes a while my fingers were hurting at this point <laughs> So this was definitely a true challenge. I mean, they all all are challenges. I usually spend about a week, um, trying, you know, before figuring out different ideas and kind of um, brainstorming, I guess, if you will. Um, but this one really stumped me. So this is what I came up with, and this is what I went with. So that's how it looks. And I'm sorry you can't see the whole other corner uh, of it, but um, yeah, that's how it looks. And like I said, I don't. I don't hate it, but I'm, I'm not madly in love with it either. So um, so these are the Daydream stickers uh, from Dear Lizzie, and I wanted to put that Never Grow Up. Um, you know, obvious they're throwing paper planes. <laughs> and then it also had the sticker of a paper plane, which, I mean, this you can ask for a more perfect layout. And I just took the sticky off of it because I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted that to land. Um, so I wanted to be able to move it around a bit. And I did that off screen so there wasn't powder everywhere. And then that is another sticker. I think it just says make every day count or every moment count, something like that. But I love the color of it. And now I'm just going to go through random embellishments that I have. Uh, so this is a Heidi Swap sticker that says fun. I put that on there. And um, yeah, just kind of going through. I have um, a whole like rolling cart next to me full of embellishments. And so I'm just going through them and kind of ciphering out what I might want to use, what I might not want to use. And I really love these stickers, but I personally struggle with having too many stickers that say things on my layouts like um, because then I feel like for me it just becomes overwhelming like every sticker has like a little sentiment and that just becomes a lot for me so I try to limit the amount of the, you know embellishments that I have that say things on them um, which can be kind of hard to do sometimes because lots of embellishments have little sayings on them so uh, so I figured I better go ahead and do my title before I start, you know, going crazy with these embellishments. And um, so I'm pulling out some fabric chipboard thickers. They are in the doll font and they are in like a, a vanilla-y, yellow-y type of color. And then I thought about using these Dear Lizzie um, like aqua tealish stickers um, but the fonts didn't really mesh well to me so I'm going to go ahead and go grab my October afternoon uh, daily flash stickers there and they're pretty much the exact same color and I'm going to use those too and I'm sure you're blown away by how inventive my title is uh, but it is just paper planes <laughs> so I'm going to lay those down and I tend to fuss with these daily flash a bit because they're in a cursive and they will connect um, but <clears throat> excuse me but I just have a hard time kind of getting them how I want them so I'm going to fuss a tiny bit with them just to get them how I want them um, and also with these apparently <laughs> So, and I love the font of that, um, that doll font. I have it in a couple other, you know, styles and colors, um, styles meaning non-fabric. <laughs> um, and I, I do love that font. And so now I'm going to take the coordinating tile sticker that comes with that daily flash and I'm just going to put 2014 on, on that. And I knew that I wanted to lay that, the title on that card there, um, when I put it there as part of the grid, so... And now I'm using these Amy Tan cloud stickers that come in this remarks package and they just were perfect for this layout. They were watercolory and the colors matched beautifully. And so I'm just sticking those here and there, um, kind of trying to balance everything out. Um, and I believe those are from the Yes Please line. So you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure. And then there's one with like a sun. So I put that one up there. And I'm that is where that paper plane is actually going to rest um, with those clouds. So I thought that was cute. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just having a look at some other things, seeing if there's anything else I want to add to the layout. Um, and this Dear Lizzie Fifth and Frolic sticker pack has something on it. Um, Ha homemade happiness which I thought also fit really well because you know my daughter homemade these airplanes and they 
were very happy playing with them. And it had a little hole in the right side of the tag, you know, as to if you wanted to string something through there or put something through there. So I thought about maybe putting a brad through there, but I just couldn't find the right place to put it. Like I said, there's just too many things that say things everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to um, kind of, you know, think about that. I lightly stuck it down and I cut off that circle part so that it wasn't just a hole in the sticker anymore. <laughs> and then these are just some chevrons from the Dear Lizzie uh, Lucky Charm. These are the more neutral ones. She also has the same pack and more colors. I don't even know if you can get those anymore. I mean, I use a lot of old products because I tend to not throw anything away ever or, you know, whatever. So uh, I, I, you know, and I still like these products. So I layered a arrow also from that um, with that homemade happiness and that is where that's going to live so and uh, I'm hoarding those wood veneers for some weird reason I don't know why it's my triangle obsession <laughs> what do you have honey wow so I pulled out my white gel pen because what I'm actually going to do after I stick that airplane down is I am going to make little dash lines from that title where the title's sitting on that card all the way to that paper plane just continuing on from the card and I'm just gonna loop it through you know the grid and make little loopy doos and all of that and I recently saw uh, Maggie Milo who is Lisa do this on one of her process videos and it was just really really cute so I thought that would be like a cute embellishment and it kind of keeps your eye moving through the page so um, I'm going to do some journaling. Now that was a part that kind of got missed. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not doing journaling. Forget I just said that. I'm going to outline uh, these with a precision pen from American Crafts in black. And I'm doing like three or four, you know, lines on each one, just very sketchy, but I am avoiding the middle ones. So that will also be another element that will tie these together. Very subtle, but um, definitely something that, you know, says, hey, these two go together like peanut butter and jelly so yes now I there was a little part that got cut off I took um, the Heidi swap date stamp from Michaels and I just stamped the date in the other photo corner on the other page um, or the corner piece uh, just several times as I do if you've been watching me for a little bit I I'm obsessed with date stamps so um, yeah I did that and now I'm just doing my journaling which is basically explaining the story that I said earlier about you know the American doll and the selling the planes and the flying the planes and such so um, yeah and what I'm going to do now is I wanted to do some enamel dots just a few just for some little dimension and a little pop of color where it just seemed a little um, you know like it needed it so I pulled out those Teresa Collins sparkly ones but I don't end up using those um, I think I'm gonna end up just using that kind of package that's just laying on top of like where the title is and those are from my mind's eye uh, chalk studio 2 I believe and I also ended up looking through some flares and I thought about using one of those recollections ones but then I decided to go with a uh, studio calico one that says uh, live love and it's like a little speech bubble so it says live love never grow up it's kind of cute I thought so and the colors went well so um, yeah oh yes I just kept going with this I, I really went into my stash for this I'm surprised this is a paper or a, not a paper plane just an airplane uh, paper clip that I have and I think those are Webster's pages and I've had those for a really long time and I don't travel a lot sadly especially on planes and so uh, okay my daughter's doing mechanical work down there um, and so I don't have a lot of travel theme stuff so uh, if I had something that was an airplane I was using it on this layout <laughs> and as you can see there's not many airplane things because I don't own that many so you see the enamel dots in a couple random places um, and now I'm going to do a little sprinkling with the Heidi swap silver and it got cut off again there but you can see the sprinkles and so I'm just doing a couple close-ups um, of the layout and I really hope that you guys liked it and uh, make sure you go watch Robins and I'll see you guys soon and thanks Vicki for the challenge with the, the two-page layout bye guys <laughs>